right, we're on the edge of seeing who the champions of the NFL 2023 season is going to be. Is it going to be Casey or is it going to be San Fran? I think it's going to be an amazing game. I wish my Dolphins were there. And, you know, some people, they kind of lose a little interest. They all watch pretty much Super Bowl, but kind of lose interest uh, if their team's not there. But for me, uh, evaluating football is something I love to do. And this game is going to offer great key intel in, to evaluating Dolphins GM Chris Greer and their quarterback Tua. Uh, and I'm going to get into why and some of the injuries on KC's side is actually not good for them, but it's going to help define this evaluation. So uh, before I get into that, Ed, I'm a big fan of mythology and that's part of my love, comic books, mythology. Uh, uh, you know, I've, I always loved that as a kid and football kind of plays that part where uh, young males especially love to see, you know, heroes, quote unquote, you know, uh, battling it out. And there's a song by a band uh, called Sword called Beyond the Black River. And there's a line, it says, now take a quick moment to answer this question as the ferry approaches the shore. Will you have coin to pay for your passage or the courage to take up the oar? And it's talking about when you die, you stand at the river Styx, and then Chiron, the ferryman, comes to you, and either you've had the coins placed on your eyes, and they're supposed to come with you when you're dead, and then you can pay to get to the other side, heaven or whatever, and if you don't, then do you have the courage to step on that boat, snatch the oar from Chiron, and ferry yourself across? And it shows that there's two, it's kind of representative and maybe indicative of San Fran and the Chiefs. Because the Chiefs have Mahomes. They got the coins. Purdy, he's not a guy who's got the coins. But can he snatch the oar? And I think this is just going to be an amazing, amazing game. And so I just want to point that out because I've been listening to the song all day. But to really dial in that this is just a great, great opportunity. It could be Mahomes just blows out Purdy and we know, you know what? You need that quarterback. But just think about if Purdy wins this game and Mahomes loses, the opportunities, the concepts of building your team is going to be dramatically altered for all fan bases and franchises. So I really get excited for this game. Now, uh, Chris Greer is decided to build his team based on high skill talent, a defense, and really kind of going light on the offensive line. Now, he said, uh, you know, it was very fair that he was going to have Tehran, he was going to have Connor, and he was going to have Hunt. And these three guys were elite talent. But behind him was really not much else. And if you look at uh, KC's setup, they were very similar. Now, Thune's gone down. They spent a lot of money on Taylor. And you can make fun of uh, Jackson if you don't like him. You don't like the payment for what he's... I'm not a big fan of it. Um, but Taylor's getting a huge sum and he's terrible. Smith and Taylor are terrible. And they're going to have a backup in there uh, to... Uh, his name is... I'm not going to say it. A. And he's going to have to really... He's never seen a lot of action. And he's a huge step down from Thune. And you're really going to only have Humphreys and Smith. You can see in this image here. And so you're going to have this elite quarterback against a fierce front. Uh, Warner can blitz when he does. Not very often, but he does. He's you got Young, who's pretty good. And then you got Hargrove. You got uh, uh, Hargrave. You got Armstead and Bozo, who are elite. And Kelsey, who can block, pass block, not run block, pass block. But he's not going to be in too much. You want him out. So this is going to be... Does the quarterback raise the offensive line? And if you, if Mahomes can't do it, who's the best of the best of the best, then what chance does a guy like Tua have? And so this is a very clear look into the decision-making process of Chris Greer. And this offensive line, remember that Mahomes got destroyed uh, in his second Super Bowl appearance, and people were questioning, is this guy any good? 
both his tackles, I think, went down and he got blown out because he didn't have the offensive line. Uh, and then he won it and they're like, well, you know, check kind of ran into it. But it went back to, you know, you still need that elite quarterback. To me, it's always been you need a competent offensive line. And then obviously the quarterback's a key piece. So this is going to help define is Chris Greer on the right track or was he kind of nutty in his process? Now, again, to us, some people, they're not going to say he's good. Some people, most people I think is like, you know, he's pretty good, but he's just not, you know, he doesn't have it. He's not like Allen and Mahomes. And if Purdy can nail this one, take this Super Bowl, uh, you know, you got the Brad Johnsons of the world who are, are not really good. And they're kind of like retreads. They want a Super Bowl, you know, Flacco. Um, but this will really say that you can build a very good team, have a quality offensive line, run inside and out. And you got a guy who can come up clutch and make some plays and you can win your Super Bowl. And it's, it's going to say that there are other opportunities. And let's say, hey, Goff might be able to do it. Love might be able to do it. Maybe even Tua. But it's going to come down to that offensive line. I mean, look, you know, you've got Williams, who is a Hall of Famer. Feliciano, who, you know, you could say the Dolphins had injuries. He missed, I think, eight games, nine games this season. He was only in on about eight and a half games. Uh, Brindles, and he was a guy who was on our roster. We got let go. Banks, no good, just big guy. McKivitz, mm, eh, subpar. Uh, but they've got a front that stayed healthy all season. Uh, Kittle is a tight end who can block. They are physical. And so if this physical front is able to generate enough for uh, uh, Purdy to win, then Greer was on the wrong path. If Greer gets on the right path or another GM or whoever, Tua can be in the position to win a Super Bowl if he is as clutch and has got the courage to grab the oar from Charon. And that's great to say. Now, last part is back to Greer. Uh, you know, we had a big trade with San Fran for three first-round picks. It's crazy they cut this guy or traded him. And they went with Purdy, the last guy in the draft. But it showed that Lynch had a philosophy of, you know what? I don't care what I've paid for this player. Is he producing? Is there somebody better? And am I shooting to replace this guy? If they didn't draft Purdy, they would have been stuck with Lance. But they kept firing. And even though they spent an incredible amount of ammo on Trey Lance, they saw Purdy was a the guy. They gave him the shot and they moved off him. And that's critical for a GM to admit his mistakes, no matter how big they are, as long as on the back end, he's repairing them. And so we have to watch this game with a clear vision as Dolphin fans. I personally think that San Fran's going to win. Now, the blitzing process uh, uh, of the Chiefs, uh, Spagnola is unbelievable, D.C., he could turn the tables. Remember San Fran, when they went against the Ravens, they got blitzed and he crumbled. Uh, it could happen. But I really do think that the offensive line and the physicality, and, you know, I mean, they got Ayuk, the first round pick in like 25 overall. They got Samuel in the second round. They didn't have to spend two firsts and then a whole draft pick, a whole draft class on one guy. And so this... You know, McDaniel comes from the system, and Greer kind of understands it, but he kind of went a different road. They spent heavy on McCaffrey, and so I think that if San Fran wins, it's a strong indictment against Chris Greer's philosophy. He could fix it this year. You never know, but it's a strong indictment of his building process, but it's also a strong uh, indictment of to his ability to lead us to a Super Bowl. Or the possibility. You know, when, you, when you're there, when Charon's there and he pulls his hood back and you see the skull face, do you freeze? Or do you have that courage to grab the oar? So that's it, guys. Get ready for a great Super Bowl. I think that, that San Fran will win and it's going to bring hope and a little bit of it mm, for Dolphins fans. But you never know. Maybe the elite quarterback will rise above the poor offensive line and it's going to be... You know what? You got to have the coin in order to win this league. 
We will see. But I'm excited, guys. Anyway, it is cursing. Catch you next time. Be well. Go Finns. San Fran too, maybe. Hard to say, though. They beat Marino. It's always been sticking to my craw. Anyway, catch you next time. Start building your own online sports book today by getting signed up with acebred.com service that'll allow you to book action on sports from all around the world.